Hey, it's Moonfell. And guess what? It's time for more day at the diver. Good morning. I must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. <laughs> you did seem a bit excited. <laughs> you don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of occasion calls for joviality. <laughs> you can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. Oof, I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp Duff gave you and try venturing down into the depths. It'll probably turn on automatically when you reach the right depth. And don't forget, you'll have to enhance your diving suit if you want to venture into the depths. I'll have to advance my in enhance my equipment first then. By the way, do you happen to have scuba? No. No. Not for emitophobes. Gross. He's asking me to enter the water after that? Chapter 2, into the deep. We're doing it. She uploaded a new post. Yoshi. Oh my god. These are available only for the day. Um, I'm gonna do that. How much money do I have? Because I need a thousand for the, the guy that I wanted to hire. And I can't really buy anything. Nope. We will just, if we can't make it deep enough, then we'll just, we will do it next time, I guess. I don't know. Alrighty, Dave. Oh, I forgot to put the thing on. Uh-oh. Already, huh? Dude, he's perusing. John Watson! Wait! So it was you. The one who's been harming the ocean. You even vomited, you disgusting creature! Well, it wasn't me. Wait, that wasn't me. It was... I have no time for your opinion, excuse me. Now that you've been caught by John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardian of the Sea, you won't be leaving so easily. I'll turn you into fish food! <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh my Poseidon! <laughs> I really enjoyed Oh My Poseidon! Ugh! Wow. This is all your fault! You did this to the precious sea! You're the one shooting bombs? Then all I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Why don't you look into the fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me? Enough blabbering! I'll shut that yapper of yours! I'll shut your yapper of yours! <laughs> Here it goes! Oh, it's already a boss! It's another boss fight. Um, oh dear. Ow, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I got him. John Watson. <laughs> How dare you fight back against me? John Watson, formerly of the Navy SEALs. <laughs> that should serve as an adequate warning, so I'll back away for now to protect the environment. But I won't let you go unpunished if you persist in damaging the- You just shot a hole in the seafloor, buddy. What are you talking about? What- John! We're watching you. Bye. Well, now I'm gonna go- A path has opened up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. I agree. Friend, I agree. Let's go that way, you know? You can go your own way. You can call it another. Lonely day? Lovely day? I think it's a lonely day. Okay, let's not forget that we have the little bombs. The, uh, the net bombs. The net bomb. The net bomb. Oh, 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 oh. We should do this right about here. Hey, friendo. Oh. 
You love to see it. And then we just do another one in a little bit. Later. I'm just waiting for a big ol' shark. You know? Just waiting. Oh, there he is. God, he's so intense. I don't think. Normal fish after seven seconds. I wonder. Just right quick, I wonder. Nope. Nope. We gotta be way too close to that asshole. Fuck. He's too scary. I don't like him. Mmm. Mistakes have been made. Am I gonna get him? No, he's just he's just immune, I'm pretty sure. He seems like it's not gonna bother him. That's a bummer, because I just used all my ammos. Ooh, maybe. Ooh gosh. in a baby fucking wheel right here, dude. Holy shit. That just happened. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's golden. I've never had such a good day. Depths. We've done it. <gasps> oh, dear. That thing is not happy to see me. Whatever you are, you're very pretty and very scary. I'm just gonna pick up everything. One of these. What are you? Not something I can pick up. Got it. These guys are heavy. That's what I'm learning. I need to head back up. I want to go exploring, though. That's super dope looking back there. Super cool. Okay, next time, next time, we will go explore the depths. <laughs> it's Ash Ketchum. Yowie! Yowie! I don't think that's what you want me to think. Yowie! <laughs> it's not better. <laughs> it's not better. It's not. Yo, yow! <laughs> Yowie! You seem energetic today. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up on your marine card account. It's the giant squid boss card. How did you get this? It's such a rare card. Ah, uh, well, I was just on my way to pick up a delivery and as chance would have it. Yeah, okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. <laughs> Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's sure to happen. Oh. And if you venture into new regions, for example the depths, the automatic marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. Don't forget to collect fish cards in the new regions as well. Choo -choo. Goodbye then. Choo choo. It's not a paddle boat. Alright, we gotta continue following the signal. It's the depths. Oh, a light? The two worms will shrink away from UV light, allowing you to pass. Find a UV light in a nearby chest. If you can't find one, maybe try a melee attack?
to see people from before. It's got a lot to say. Oh, they're saying something. I can't tell what they're saying. I'll have to call Dr. Bacon. Static. My goodness, wow. To, to think the sea people were real, it seemed like incredible. Um, they were saying something to me, but I can't understand them. Hmm. I think analyzing the patterns must allow might allow us to translate. Come back into the boat for now. I'll try and think of a way to translate. Do not particularly like this poison. Shit. Also, everything needs to be upgraded. Literally everything. Literally everything. A shovel? A shovel? A shovel? Wait a second. <laughs> well, that's dope. Alright. Okay. Okay. I think it's time. Yeah, deep breaths, Dave. But not too deep. Not too deep. This could I tell you? There was a shooting star just now. Hamlet? Hmm. I did expect the sea people's civilization to be real, but to think there are living sea people? This is truly the find of the century. This is thanks to you, Dave. That's right, it's because of me. <laughs> Let's tell all the news outlets in the world about this. Wait, I think that might be risky. But why? That's how we'll get people flocking to this place. It wouldn't matter if we were talking about some ruins, but these are living sea people. Poachers are bound to show up. They'll start hunting the sea people, since that will be a way to get a lot of attention. You have a point there. How about we first make a translator to analyze their sound waves and figure out what they're saying? I think they have something to tell us. We'll first need a sea people stone tablet with their writing on it, as well as a microphone and an amethyst. If I'm guessing right, the microphone should be below the sunken sea ship. There's no sea in that in that. There's not a sea in there. It's not a sea ship, it's just a ship. If I'm guessing right, the microphone should be below the sunken ship, and the stone tablet is likely to be in their record chamber. Oh. Here you can mine amethyst at 100 meters or deeper with a pickaxe. Mm. The record chamber, the ship, and... <laughs> if you can't remember locations, check the to-do app. I'll add the information there. You got it, friend. Banjo! Mm. Uh, Dave, are you busy? Mm. Not at the moment. What is it? Mm. You have a strange customer at the sushi mart. Mm -hmm. Would you come over for a moment? Mm. As the manager, this is something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. A noisy customer. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Udo! <gasps> Wait. Can I have a moment with you? Mm. Yes, I'm sorry, you are? <laughs> Tee -hee. I should introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. The name is Udo. Okay. Oh, I've read that magazine too. It covers unique fish species. <gasps> oh, you have? That's right. Yeah. I heard that the blue hole is home to a variety of fish species. Is that true? Mm. You could say that. There are all kinds of fish species from around the world. Mm. Oh, I knew it. So I've come to the right place. Yeah. I'd love to take pictures myself for the magazine. But, unfortunately, I can't dive. Speaking of which, would you help me take some pictures? Pictures? Yeah, you see, we have this night, that nice camera over there. Oh, it's the one from Dr. Bacon. But I'm no expert in photography. I'm not sure if I'm good enough. Don't worry. If you're a reader of Fish Weekly, you will get a feel for what kind of fish to, fish to photograph. And, of course, I'll reward you if you take a nice picture. <laughs> well... If you say so. All right. It'd be nice to make a record of this amazing place. Photo spot. You can take pictures of living creatures at a photo spot. Take your pictures to Udo to claim rewards. Okay. So we're going to go hire the one guy. You know the guy. You know the guy. Hello, viewers. This is Yui from Star the Star, Star the Chef. Chef the Stuff, Star, Star, Star the Chef. Hello, viewers. This is Yui from Star Star, the Chef. Now we're back at Pancho Sushi. What kind of sushi will the chef have prepared, I wonder? I have prepared jellyfish sushi. Mm. Jellyfish? You mean like in Chinese cold vegetables? Oh. Did you think you could win the acknowledgement of Vincent Yamoka while ignoring the traditional ingredients? 
No way. <laughs> you call yourself a gourmet. Will you judge before you've even tasted it? Mm. Ugh. All right. Bring it over then. <laughs> All right. I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi. Get him, Banjo. <laughs> So this is jellyfish? The flesh is transparent. The white dots are pretty as well. What? You made it with bunched rice? You should have made sure it didn't scatter by making gun gunkin maki instead. It'll dry up. Hurry up and eat. It's already been seasoned. I know it can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. Every time. Every time it's fucking delightful. <laughs> Vincent, the look on your face. This is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bite into it. And the jellyfish is nice and firm. And I taste something popping inside. Could it be flying fish row? Wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar? No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? Yes. I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape? Huh? Mm -hmm. This is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea where the sea kelp sway. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can't help but admit it. This sushi is amazing, based on a very deep understanding of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. But why is it that you use such unknown ingredients instead of the proven ones? Mm -hmm. The first reason is taste. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish has a gentle, mild taste with a strong texture, making it a perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. The second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Thank you for those amazing words, Bancho. Now then, it's time for the evaluation. Vincent? All right, let's get into the evaluation. Now, this is the jellyfish sushi that made Vincent marvel, and Mr. Bancho who created the dish. What will the score be? I'll give Bancho sushi 80 points. Huh? Isn't that too low? You look quite impressed while eating. Listen, the sushi was excellent. This establishment lacks something, though. Eating combines many enjoyments. To think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us? Romance! This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts! That's why I'll give this place 80 points. And as a side reward, however, I'll give you a refrigerator. Being able to drink cold beer from the fridge? That would make the score 100. It'll be perfect. Wow! As expected from you, Vincent, that was an excellent opinion. Now, how did you like Star Star, the chef, today? There's two stars. There's the word star and a, and a symbol star. I'm doing star star. Now, how did you like star star the chef today? We'll be really looking forward to Bancho Sushi's exotic sushi being served with beer. See you again next time, heart. This was reporter Yui. I can afford all the things. New content, beer. Oh boy, I get to pour beer. <laughs> Customers will now sometimes order beer after their meal, pour them their drinks, and create additional revenue. Wow, Bancho! Amazing! That picky Vincent acknowledged you. The tongue does not lie. Vincent has a point. Shall we try selling beer from now on? I'm assuming I have to do some work for that. Um, okay. We're gonna hire Raul. Alright. Everybody's getting training today. Okay, cool. Hello, sir. Huh. Who dares interrupt me? I'm sorry, we're not open yet. You can't come in like this. Well, aren't you strict? I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to the beach in a while and it brings back old memories. I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon in the knee. I get it. I get it.
good. You're finally awake. Anyway. So you were a diver. I'm also a diver. Um. <laughs> then you must know the diver's dream of swimming all in all the seas of the world. <laughs> Forests of coral, pods of sperm whales, fights to the death with tiger sharks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That brings to mind a dish I'd really love to eat. Mm -hmm. What dish do you mean? Mm -hmm. When I was little, the moray eel curry at my fishing village was famous. Mm -hmm. I can't forget its taste. Um. You could make that dish, perhaps? I'll give you a nice gift. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Moray eel curry. Mm -hmm. Moray eels hide in the rocks, making them difficult to catch. How do you get one? Um. <laughs> You know how to dive, but you don't know much of the ecology, do you? Moray eels are nocturnal and only come out at night. <laughs> do you have gear for night diving? Oh, I did get a flashlight recently. That should do just fine. <laughs> moray eels are nocturnal. Please go night diving and catch a moray eel to fulfill my wish. Mm. Hmm. I haven't gone diving at night for a while. Maybe I'll try it. You can now dive once every night. There are many vicious and nocturnal fish out at night, but you'll also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. We better make a menu, you know? I'm just gonna enhance this once. Takes three of each. Yeah, I do it once. There he is. <laughs> These are so fucking delightful. Very, very silly. did it but you know what that's okay too much food what a terrible predicament to have yes yes we made so much money it's party day today prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune okay Movie news. A giant crocodile in the sewer? Hello, this is Movie Wonder. The weather's getting a bit chilly. How about a creepy horror movie? What if a giant mutant crocodile appeared in the sewer? Experience realistic horror on the big screen. Silly. I am going to upgrade my gear. Okay, we got enough to do a couple of them. Okay. This is where we're gonna have to stop, unfortunately. I feel like I say this every time I play this game, but I adore this game. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, really. Like, a lot. But, uh, unfortunately, I'm out of stuff. So, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright. Bye!